coming up in this video. Free! I told you the joy would come when you got free. Hey! Hi, I am the interviewer here. And I'm here to interview Mr. Antonino after his deliverance, which he just experienced. Fantastic, isn't it? We are going to go right into it with the splendid questions that I have prepared. How the Holy Spirit has affected this handsome man. <laughs> Stay tuned. So what did you feel before the deliverance started? I felt afraid of fear that wasn't coming from me, like straight away. That was from the demon. We are really interesting. I can feel a bit of fear. So I think those demons might have been uh, shaky in their boots, you could say. Perhaps they were afraid of being thrown out. Do you think that could have had something to do with them manifesting fear? Yeah, most likely. I think uh, that would be the case. They could feel kind of my faith growing. Being around people, then their faith is stronger. And then that means that they are in danger, which Ooh, means wow. they can be casted. If you are one person that wants to be delivered, if you want to increase your chances of receiving that deliverance, place yourself around people who have great faith. Because that will influence your faith, as you said. The demon hates it. But if you are around people who don't have any faith in God, they're unbelievers. That's you... a safe place for the demon. Exactly, yeah. exactly. If you are out there and you want deliverance, you know you have demons, Place yourself around people with great faith in Jesus. And if you don't find anyone else in Sweden, come to us. We're serious. Like, literally, yeah, like we, we, we would love to minister to anyone who is open and want to receive deliverance from demons. If you're open to it, if you have a humble heart, we're here for you. What did you feel during the deliverance as the action was going on? You know? It feels flowing the Holy Spirit through my body so you could feel it even stronger this time. Then I can feel it shaking. Last time we prayed, it used to be like around the head area. It's like you have something stick and it starts to basically like move. It shakes and then stays again. It feels like it moves and sometimes it just gets high yeah. up. Something really peculiar is it started to feel through my eyes. I suddenly wanted to cry. Hot sensation in the eyes like onions. Just made, almost made me cry. It's really warm when it hits my eyes, almost to make me grow like onions. In that moment it kind of came in and out, when it actually kind of contributed a little bit into it. It kind of couldn't go out really. I felt that like mm. he was kind of stuck because he was on the bridge. I think God wants you to just completely renounce, yeah. You don't want this in your life, you don't want this anymore. I don't want this demon in my life. I'm living a new life now with God. This demon has no place in me anymore. Nothing to do here. Just leave. <laughs> leave me. Leave me now, in Jesus' name. Leave. Leave now. But then suddenly when Joel actually prayed for me and I got healed in my heart, then he actually just went out. And I needed to open even my mouth and everything. It just, just flow out and that was incredible afterwards. There it is. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. And I declare him free. <laughs> oh dear, that piece. <laughs> It's just like noise, and then you basically shut down the noise, and, just... and that's it. Would you say that you have even a greater, deeper understanding of peace now than you had earlier? I don't know if I understand it really, but experience it, yeah. yeah. Peace that surpasses understanding, literally what he just said, <laughs> which is this Bible word. <laughs> we'll read it now. <laughs> How did it differ this time from last time? You said you felt like something was stuck. And now something was like shaking, like it had come loose, kind of. Last time it was way more stuck and it was painful. Dude, it's in the neck now and it's really tense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really stuck, but it's getting up, but yeah, 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 yeah. really slowly. <laughs> it goes above the neck now. It goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And you could tell my faith was weaker in that sense because of the way that my spirit felt during the moment. My faith has been growing, so that way internally I become stronger, so he has nothing to hold on to. There are things in your life that you've let go of since then. Gone so much deeper into God's word, living a life where he is the focus. How did you feel and what did you experience after the demon left you? 
I cannot put a word to this thing. It's like your existence makes sense. And before it didn't. And it feels fantastic to be alive. <laughs> yeah, don't resist that joy, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. I cannot move. I haven't tried, but it doesn't feel right to move. We ministered God's love to you while you were here laying down. I see streams coming from your guys' hands in the spirit, streams going into his body. You will, for the first time in your life, have the realization of God's love for you. <laughs> did you feel anything special? Yes. How did that resonate with you? Actually, I felt something going through myself. It went from my legs through the spine, start going towards the back, and then went into my heart. Actually. Why would it go into the mind? It goes into the heart, the deepest place. Yeah. A month ago, you saw me and Pontus, right? We were very happy and we laughed a lot. And you're like, I long to have that experience, you told me. And then I prophesied over you, right? The Lord spoke for me and he said, you will also experience this the second you receive your deliverance. Would you say this happened or? Yes, I will agree. I think this happened. I think there's quite telling video proof of that. <laughs> I told you the joy would come when you got free. I literally prophesied it. <laughs> if you don't believe his words, believe um, the footage. Believe the footage. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I think it speaks for itself. Do you have any final words to tell our lovely audience? A uh, good piece of advice, a simple one I would say. Become more aware of your spirit. By doing that you will become aware of God and then eventually you will get to it. Would you recommend people also to read the word of God? Absolutely. I would recommend strongly to read the word of God. However, I think you need to be prepared for that. Otherwise, mm. it won't show you what it should. How about you, Pontus? Would you like to say anything? I would like to say that even if you have doubts, whether you're a Christian or not, I think you have doubts in your life. I think you should just go on that faith because when you take that step, even though you have doubt, that is where you grow as a person. I had some doubt while trying to cast the demon out, you know? Take that step even though it might be scary because that's where you're gonna experience something that you never would have experienced if you just listen more to your doubt than that intuition that wants you to grow. <laughs> and that's where the cameraman fell. So here we have cameraman who's drunk right now. You can experience this too.